Hey guys, now it's from a couple, I think it was a couple of videos back. I had this um, back of living room door open and there was like a light shining. But on video, it looked as though it was like a portal. So, try to go for that effect again. Anyway, the sigil update. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect it to work, but um, it only just did twice. But I'm not putting these down to coincidences because I'm not a, um, a coincidental theorist or an accidental theorist. If you want to put labels on things, I'm a conspiracy theorist. It's called thinking at something instead of just walking away. Now, this sigil, I, um, I mean, I made, I, I made it, I think, on Sunday, but I charged it up. And I think there were points on one, one day when I was at work where I didn't, I didn't have a confidence in it actually working because I think I fucked it up. Probably thinking I fucked it up was um, conditioning right there and then because they've done a jo good job on us, haven't they? So I got a nice surprise on Tuesday. I got a uh, card from Royal Mail saying there's a parcel arrived. Um, can you come and pick it up? Which I won't be, <coughs> which I won't be able to do till Saturday. But now I find out that it was off a very good friend of mine, and it's <sighs> book of knowledge, can we say? So there, within two days, I received a gift, book of book of knowledge, which ties in to the um, desire I had when I made that sigil, which was based on knowledge. Now I was. I was looking at the sigil and I was looking at that and I was, I was um, almost convinced then. And then the next day, oh no, sorry, yesterday, on the way home, my dad gives us a telescope right there on my lap. I mean, what the fuck? I didn't um, mention or put any seeds in his head for him to go out and get me a telescope. It's only a beginner's telescope, but nonetheless, knowledge of the stars, book of knowledge, sigil. I think it worked. I'm not looking at this as co coincidental. I'm, I'm taking this very seriously now, but I think the key with the sigils is belief, because when I, um, started to charge charge it up I really believed that what I was doing was um, was legitimate and I really truly believed in it and it, and it made um, the focus on that sentence that desire so much easier almost in a hypnotic state um, so now that that's worked The battle begins in a subconscious mind. And I hope a lot more people follow this because, like Karen said, what's the point in making these videos? They don't give a shit. We've got people who are joining little cult groups. Um, we've, we've got people condemning others for um, having their opinions on which road they're taking on the truth. Which instead, like Bill Hicks said, all about the collective conscious. Like let's let's um, evolve ideas. Put your ideas on the table. If if we are wrong, instead of just condemning us with uh, um, patronising statements. I mean, how can your mind truly evolve unless you put ideas on the table? It's that's the way it should be working. We sh we shouldn't let our egos get out of control. But anyway, let's start just uh, doing something. 
you know. I'm going to work on these sigils, I'm going to make a few more. Uh, I would never use these in a negative way because I've got a purpose now. I've got a purpose. And all these visions I've been having. Um, just everything in my life that's led up to this. Especially the last year and a half has been absolutely crazy, man. Like a Philip K. Dick book turn into a crazy Paul Ver uh, Verhoeven film. That's kind of the scale that I'm going on. And the reality changes. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think Sigils is the way, way, way to go for now. Just see where I take it. Right, anyway, thanks for, thanks for listening or watching.